Hey everyone, how are we doing? My name is Tim Pongrass and this is Focus on Detailing. This video is going to be all about Chemical Guys VSS Scratch and Swore Remover, putting it to the test to find out if it's worth it. video for quite some time, dedicating the side of my car to trying it out. Now, this side of my car has never been polished, since I and all the person before me had it. So over the years, a few small scratches have accumulated. It's been said that what it will be doing is cutting like a compound and finishing like a polish, which sounds pretty good for a product only costing $30. That's a big statement though, as say comparing it to V32 and V38 for example, we know that the end result is of a high quality. Two-stage paint correction a lot of the time is a go-to for that exact reason. But if VSS can compete and reach a similar correction standard as well as doing it in a shorter time, then I believe that it is worth it. But there's only one way to find that out, and that's by putting it to the test. This is what needed to be removed. The other day, these paint defects were looking more noticeable than ever in the sun, and that was it for me. It was time for some paint correction in an attempt to remove those marks. Although there are two quite large scratches that unfortunately have gone past the clear coat, so VSS wasn't getting those out. But as for the light scratches, swirls and marring, I'm feeling confident that they will soon be gone. This is actually a continuation of my previous video, so I've already prepped the car and cleaned it up, ready to start using VSS. But in case you missed it... It wouldn't be a true before and after test without some tape. It's going to help give me a better idea of how well VSS has done its job side by side. Now for my car, I'll be using a 6 inch orange diamond cutting pad with a Shimate dual action polisher. Placing 5 spots of VSS on the pad, I then moved on to pressing it out randomly across where I'd be working. This seemed like a reasonable space and amount to start with. I used the very first speed setting to spread out the product, then stepped it up 5 notches and began working slowly until the polish became clear. I usually take precautions when using a new product, so I stopped to check my work so far, wiping off the leftover polish with a microfiber towel. I noticed that there were still a few marks that needed to be fixed up. After all that, it was time to check the before and after... Wait, hang on. Just a sec. Now it was time to check. Side by side, there was a noticeable difference. Nearly all of the scratches seen before were gone. So far, it was looking like it was doing a great job of bringing the side of my car back to a clean and refined finish. From there, I went on to checking over the other spots, filming it for further proof for before and after shots, and correcting them as before. After thoroughly removing all of the remaining polish, I finished up by adding an even coating of Jet Seal and some Meguiar's Gold Class Canuba Wax. This was the finished result. So from what I've done, is Chemical Guy's VSS Scratch and Swirl Remover worth it? It managed to remove most of the light scratches, swirls and marring, bringing out a nice mirror-like surface although it did take a while to do so, and there were a few tiny defects left. Now, it wouldn't be fair to compare a two or three stage correction to this one step, as the results and methods are a little different, a two stage being a little more thorough, and results are superior in most cases. But with my car, they weren't too far off. The paint responded pretty well with a combination of VSS and the orange pad. I'm going to say that it is worth it. It seems like a great asset to have, and I see it being pretty handy when detailing cars in the future. And on that note, I'm going to finish up with this Is It Worth It video. If you'd like me to do any other reviews, just chuck a comment down below. And please don't forget to check out some of my other uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.